try. How hard was it to finalise this squad for Emma? Yeah, very difficult. The boys had a really good pre-season. They played some really good trial matches. Um, and there were a lot of issues when selecting this first team. You mentioned there were a few positions that were up for grabs. Are there any hints now which ones they were, maybe? Uh, I think it's... Uh, well, no. It, it, you know, I've spoken to the guys individually. Um, and there are a lot of disappointed guys um, this week. There's a, there's a runner's game, a Brumby's runner's game on this weekend. So I guess the good thing for the guys who haven't been selected is to actually get some good game time this weekend. And uh, we tried to soften the blow with that uh, little upside, but uh, it was still very difficult for a lot of them to take, um, particularly when they knew, and it was the positions that we were looking at, they knew that they were close for those uh, uh, selections. Joe Powell, is he always going to start? Uh, before Thomas got injured, it was going to be it was going to be a difficult decision there. Um, but once Thomas got injured, yeah, Joe is the one with the most experience, and uh, yeah, I think he's come along nicely in this preseason. Had a good year last year with us, but has come along really nicely in this preseason. Worked really hard to be competitive at training, and um, certainly deserves his position in the team. You got the of him new places to be running out uh, on Saturday. You confident that these guys are. Are ready to go? Or are they receiving a particular focus from you in the coming days? No, no. I mean, they all know how to play rugby. Um, they've obviously played at a, at a decent level before, um, and there's there's no point putting stuff in their head leading into the game. It's just another game for them. They're combining with the players around them, and I think that's what we've seen through the preseason and the trial games. The combination um, has been key for us, making sure that we get the right combination on the field, and we feel these guys uh, add to that combination. So. Certainly have full confidence. That's why we've picked them. Steve, was uh, leaving Jared Butler out? Was it the toughest yeah. decision? That was one of them. Um, Jared uh, has been sidelined a little bit through the preseason, just uh, overcoming a bit of an injury. Um, and and in that position, we had a, a number of contenders. Um, so Jared sort of covers six, seven, eight, and there are a few guys in those positions that uh, um, feel a little bit unlucky not to be in the team this week. Missing you know, five from last year, and you know, Scott and Thomas Gabelli, and Scott Sia. Do you feel as though you're very much the underdog at the moment, or how, how do you feel about? Uh, we're not. We're not approaching it that way. Um, we've had a good pre-season. We feel we've had a good pre-season. We've had some good hit-outs in the trial matches, and uh, the guys are feeling pretty good. You can ask Karts about that, but, but it looks to me that their uh, energy levels and their motivations probably peaked this week. Um, so they should go into the game with, with a lot of confidence. So, yeah, I guess um, maybe a few people will write us off. But, but internally, you know, we're, we're going about business as though um, we're ready to play. Your record against the Crusaders not great, but do you feel as though, you know, this is a good time to strike the first game of the season? Given you, you seem to start the season pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think uh, our prep coming into the first game is something that we pride ourselves on. Um, I think the players look forward to this from the first day of pre-season. So we've had a couple of trial games, but you know, all they've spoken about is the first Super Rugby game. So they're all pretty primed to play um, their best football this weekend. Uh, Crusaders, I mean, they've had some pretty good trial games. They've, they've played uh, Hurricanes and the Highlanders. They've played in the Juco 10s and, and performed really well in all three of those games, uh, tournaments. Um, so I don't expect that they'll be off to a slow start. I know the New Zealand sides generally, because they don't have their uh, All Blacks players uh, back into the fold in the first couple of rounds, they're, they're normally slow starters, but I don't see that as the case this week. Uh, can you talk um, a little bit about Nick Mayhew? Um, obviously a, a new guy who got starting a, a blue set there. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, about his development and what you're hoping to get out of him? Yeah, well, Nick came across from New Zealand. He played with the Blues last year, and um, he's an excellent scrummager. He's, he's got great awareness of where he needs to be on the field. Um, so his understanding of rugby is good coming out of the New Zealand system. Um, but yeah, he's a top-notch scrummager, uh, which is, you know, we pride ourselves on set piece, and uh, he's he's fit into the mould of that loose head prop perfectly for us.